The F-35I Adir is a variant of the Lockheed Martin F-35 Lightning II, specifically customized for the Israeli Air Force. It is part of Israel's broader modernization efforts and honestly represents a significant advancement in their air capabilities. So, here's an overview of the F-35I Adir and the modifications made for Israel. Here's an overview of the F-35I Adir. First, let's talk about the basic characteristics. The F-35I is a stealth multi-role fighter designed for a variety of missions, including air-to-air -air combat, air-to-ground strikes, and of course intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance. It features low observable stealth technology, advanced avionics, and sensor fusion capabilities that provide pilots with a pretty comprehensive situational awareness. Now, as for its role, the Adir is designed to operate within the Israeli Air Force's specific operational context. It really enhances Israel's ability to maintain air superiority, conduct precision strikes, and gather intelligence in some pretty complex environments. Let's talk about the modifications made by Israel. The Israeli modification program for the F 35Y Adir includes several key enhancements. First, avionics and software. Israel has developed its own unique software for the aircraft, which incorporates indigenous systems and is tailored to the operational requirements of the Israeli Air Force. These modifications allow for better integration with Israeli weapons systems and other military assets. Next, electronic warfare capabilities. The Adir is equipped with advanced electronic warfare systems that have been augmented by Israel's expertise in this field. This includes systems designed to counter enemy radar and missile threats effectively. Moving on to weapon systems. The F-35I Adir is compatible with a range of Israeli-made munitions, such as the Spice 1000 and Spice 2000 precision-guided bombs, along with standard NATO munitions. This really allows for enhanced strike capabilities, suited to Israel's defense needs. When it comes to communications and networking, the aircraft features Israeli communication systems that enhance secure communication with other Israeli Air Force and Israeli Defense Forces assets, allowing for better coordination during operations. The integration of sophisticated networking capabilities enables the sharing of real-time intelligence and situational awareness. And finally, enhanced surveillance systems. The Adir is equipped with advanced sensors and reconnaissance systems that bolster its intelligence, surveillance and reconnaissance capabilities, providing intelligence collection that's better tailored to Israel's security concerns. The F-35i cockpit features modifications to the displays and user interface, making it, you know, a bit more user-friendly for Israeli pilots. Customization of the cockpit layout allows for greater efficiency and functionality in operational environments. The Israeli Air Force has developed indigenous maintenance and logistical support systems tailored to the F-35Y, which helps reduce dependency on foreign support and, well, enhances operational readiness. The acquisition and modification of the F-35I Adir holds significant strategic importance for Israel, allowing it to maintain qualitative advantages over potential adversaries in the region. The capabilities of the Adir enable Israel to conduct operations with high precision, survivability and effectiveness in various conflict scenarios. Overall, the F-35I Adir exemplifies Israel's commitment to leveraging advanced technology and customizing defense platforms to meet its specific security needs and operational demands. Israeli F-35 carries JDAM externally. The weapon that was mounted externally was the Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM. The IAF said in a post on X that during the conflict, it modified its F-35 aircraft to fire JDAM bombs from its wings rather than its belly, which was the aircraft's original configuration. During the war, the Flight Test Center, FTC, in collaboration with Lockheed Martin and the F-35 program at the Pentagon, developed a new capability to carry external JDAM weapons on the aircraft's wings, the IAF said in a statement. However, it did not reveal more specific information about the upgrades that had been provided to the aircraft. For one, it is not new for an F-35 to carry weapons under its pylon. Although the precise configuration is unknown, an IAF photo posted on X, as shown below, depicts the F-35I assigned to the flight test center with four external 2-000 pound class GBU-31 JDAMs. The GBU-31 Joint Direct Attack Munition JDAM tail kit transforms unguided freefall bombs into precise all-weather weapons, a capability the IAF may have needed to decimate its enemies in multiple directions. Typically, 
an F-35. A fifth-generation fighter is designed to carry a payload of up to 18,000 pounds using 10 weapon stations. The F-35A features four internal weapon stations located in two weapon bays to maximize stealth capability. According to the US Air Force, the aircraft can also utilize an additional three external weapon stations per wing if required. Using JDAM from external pylons of an Israeli F-35 Ayadir is an interesting development, but hardly surprising. For one, the F-35 Ayadir is set apart from other fighter variants of the F-35 by the extent of customization and technological enhancements implemented by Israel based on its unique requirements. Israel is one of the few countries that was allowed to modify the US-made fifth-generation fighter aircraft on a precondition that nothing inside the aircraft would be changed, and the Israelis were allowed to add capabilities to the existing infrastructure. The Israeli F-35S are modified in these main areas command, control, communications, computers, and intelligence, C4 run, electronic warfare, and weapons integration, as previously explained by the Eurasian Times. The aircraft features a powerful electronic warfare system, EWS, and other modifications specifically designed to meet Israel's unique security needs. Israeli-made sensors, countermeasures, and helmet-mounted displays further augment the F-35 IE's capabilities. The Adir is outfitted with sensors and countermeasures manufactured domestically, as well as an indigenous electronic warfare system, EWS. The platform is perfect for carrying out a strike because its sophisticated electronic suite enables pilots to interfere with the electronics and guidance systems of enemy ground-fired anti-aircraft weapons. A senior Israeli Air Force official stated, the aircraft will be designated F-35I as there will be unique Israeli features installed in them. The United States initially refused to allow the integration of Israel's own electronic warfare systems into the aircraft's built-in electronic suite. However, Israel planned the introduction of a plug-and-play feature added to the main computer to allow for the use of Israeli electronics in an add-on fashion and to fit its own external jamming pod. The Israeli Air Force dispatched two officers to the United States, where they discussed issues involving the integration of Israeli technology into the fighter with Pentagon and Lockheed Martin officials. In July 2011, it was reported that the United States had agreed to allow Israel to install its own electronic warfare systems and missiles in its F-35S in the future. In 2012, Lockheed was awarded a contract to make changes to the first Israeli F-35S to allow the installation of Israeli electronic warfare equipment produced by Elbit Systems. This equipment will use specific apertures in the lower fuselage and leading edge. Israel also plans to install its own indigenously produced guided bombs and air-to-air -air missiles in the F-35's internal weapons bay. Benny Cohen compared the Israel Aerospace Industries command and control system to an iPhone app that would run on top of the central avionics. Israel Aerospace Industries was to manufacture the outer wings of Israel's F-35S. IAI may also play a role in the development of a proposed two-seat F-35. An IAI executive stated, there is a known demand for two seats not only from Israel, but from other air forces. Advanced aircraft are usually two seats rather than single seats. The Israeli F-35S helmet-mounted displays were also to be manufactured in Israel. This is part of the offset agreement provided to Israel, in spite of the purchase being entirely funded by American aid. In June 2012, Aviation Week quoted an IAF official stating, that while the stealth of the F-35 in its current form was to be overcome in 5 to 10 years, the aircraft was planned to be in service for 30 to 40 years, and that is the reason that Israel insisted on the ability to make its own changes to the aircraft's electronic warfare systems. On the 9th of December 2016, it was reported that the first 19 aircraft were to be delivered as standard F-35, as with the remaining 31 to be fully equipped F-35Is.